Well, electric vehicles can play a big role in protecting our environment from climate change. Yeah, but driving an EV means you have to charge your EV, and that isn't always easy in Maine. Keith Carson takes a closer look at public charging problems. There are many obstacles to EV adoption for people. Range anxiety is one of them, but the other major obstacle that I hear about is the lack of public charging. Where can we go to charge our car? After a couple of years of owning an electric vehicle, I've realized it's not necessarily about the number of stations around, but the reliability of some of these stations. So we're gonna to drive today just around Portland and try different EV fast chargers just to see if they work. All right, we're at the first station here. This is just down the street here in Portland. This is owned by EVGo, uh, one of the main companies that does non-Tesla supercharging or fast charging. So this company sets it up so you can have a payment method and have it connect to your car. So in theory, if we pick this up, plug it in, it should work. So let's find out. Oh, and right away it said it wasn't working. So it's giving us a message right now that says charging unsuccessful for some reason that is a mystery to me which is part of the story, right? So let's try a different handle on the same one and see if it likes that better. Uh, this one. Oop. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Still thinking. Okay, here we go. So charging started, now let's see if it's gonna deliver the speed it's supposed to. It should be able to get about 200 or so. All right, so the speed checks out. It's giving me 225, my battery's at 20%. Let's walk over here and just see, maybe around the front, how long that's gonna take at this speed. It says it's gonna take 22 minutes at this speed to get my battery to 80%, which is usually when you're fast charging you go to 80%, it takes a lot longer to go from 80 to 100 for chemistry battery reasons that I don't completely understand. So this was a mixed result, right? The first charger didn't work. No feedback on why, it just said charging unsuccessful. Okay, we're at the next charging location, which is at a Hannaford in Portland here. This is also EVGO, but this is an older generation charger and you can see there's only one and somebody is charging right now. Now, a couple of issues here. You have no idea how long this person is going to be here, right? They've left their vehicle and they're inside shopping, presumably. So at this point, you couldn't charge. Now you'd say, there's another handle right here, but this handle is actually only for a couple of cars. Nissan Leaf is one of them, but they're phasing this out. So this, car, this handle would not connect to my vehicle. So I would count this as a, um, a miss, we wouldn't be able to charge here, or we'd have to make friends with the gentleman here in this car and figure out when we could charge. Let's try the next station. All right, we're now at the Walmart in Scarborough. Electrify America has four charging bays in theory, but as soon as we pull up, one, two, three, not working. We're parked at the fourth one. Now let's see if we can get it to go. Electrify America has a slightly more complicated system for charging. They have an app. You have to choose the charger and then it will try to initialize it. So let's see if we can get that to happen. Okay, we're at charger four. We're gonna swipe the charge and see if we can get it to go. So according to my vehicle, right now it's delivering at 135 kilowatts, which is about right. My battery has now charged up a bit as we've stopped at different stations. So typically the lower your battery is, the faster the rate of charge can be. So this one is performing about as you'd anticipate. It says it'll take me 21 minutes to get fully charged. But the problem here obviously is that only one out of four chargers uh, are working here. Keith Carson with that report. Now, EV charging availability certainly varies widely depending on where you live in the state. But there are more charging options. According to Efficiency Maine, there are more than 500 public charging stations around the state. You can find a list of those at efficiencymaine.com.